so today we will dive into how in our uh, aesthetic business we can improve the customer service so that is all about the win 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 situation so wherein in win 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 business we are talking about winning of the shareholders or the owner winning of the customers and winning of the employers so as long as there is a win 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 situation the business does not grow if only the shareholders is winning the staff and then the customers are not winning the business will slowly collapse if only the customers are winning that means you are giving oh, you know at the cost price the services and then the employers the the shareholders will not be able to give a growth to the employers and that is how the business collapses if only the staff is winning and then the customers and the shareholders are not winning then also the business collapses so when we are creating a strategy we have to make sure that the owner wins the customer wins and the employee wins so how does that happen before i dive into the business things i have to share with you my growth how it happened and why it is important for us to practice this strategic business growth now when i started 18 years back i moved to dubai from india bangalore so when i moved to dubai i was from a medical background i didn't know much about business all i knew was I knew how to uh, treat the customers. I knew how to do the treatments, and my customers were happy. So when I came here, I started working as a center manager. And after the center manager, I was called in a um, uh, Sharjah Institute of Technology to be the uh, head of the department for the beauty therapy, where we used to train for Edexcel Group, that is B Tech qualification. So I knew about the subject, the knowledge, and then the skills. So the passion. the ghost in me always wanted to be an entrepreneur okay so this was a chance after working there as an hr i decided to start my own business so whatever savings i had and topped up with the loan bank loan i started riva as a first business what happened now first i didn't know how to choose a staff second i didn't know how to market third i didn't know how to train the staff fourth i didn't know what how to calculate the customer satisfaction all that i knew was my skills my knowledge to treat the customers do the consultation so what happened here just watch what happened i was struggling i was struggling now what is the struggle means i was doing every bit of it i used to do the consultation i used to do the treatment i used to generate the revenue and the revenue what i generated i used to give salaries to my staff and the overhead cost of the rent and the government and everything so at the end of the day it was me who was working for everybody